Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to view your online form data and customize your online form settings. In my previous video, I showed you how to add and customize the elements of an online form. If you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend you check it out right here. Now you can see the web form I created in that video is located right here, exactly where I added it. So the first thing I'm going to do is give that web form a title. And I'll talk a bit on why that's so important in a minute. So to give that a title, I'll go ahead and click on it. And over here in the panel box, I'll click on Edit Web Form. So right here, you can see the title of the online form, which by default is in fact online form. So I'll just give it a better title, which better suits our theme. So I'll just backspace this. And I'll call it Dessert Form. Remember, your visitors will not be able to see this title. So once you're completely satisfied with it, you can go ahead and click Done. Now there's actually two ways you can view your online form data. And the first of those ways is to use the panel box. So we can click on our web form. And over here in the panel box, we can click on View Form Data. All right, so here you can see a menu where we can see all of the people who have submitted into our online form. You can sort through these clicking on these headings up here. You can also remove a submission by selecting an entry you wish to remove and going down here and clicking on Remove Submission. There's also an option to download your web form data in either a CSV or PDF format. The CSV format is great for spreadsheet programs, such as Excel, and the PDF saves each entry separately. So we can go ahead and exit out of that, and I'll just show you how to view your online form data in the other way real quick. So the second way you can actually view your online form data is to go over here to the sidebar and click on Manage. And then you can go ahead and click on Web Forms. And as you can see, we have our dessert form right here, which is why it's important to name your online forms. So you can go ahead and click on View Data. And as you can see, the menu is very similar to the one that I just showed you. It also gives you the option to print your form data. Just a quick note, you may also want to change the number of entries per page you can see. So since you can see that I have six entries, I would keep it in 10. But if you have more than 10, you can select a different number and that'll show the number of entries right here. So now, I'll show you how to change the settings for your online form. So first up, I'll go back to the page containing my dessert form. So I'll click up here to on web forms and back to editor and you can see we're back to the page. To change the online form settings, you can click on the form and then over here in the panel box, select form settings. You can see this menu pops up. This menu allows you to customize a few of the advanced settings for your web form. So for example, I can go over to security and you can see I can use a CAPTCHA to protect my web form. CAPTCHAs are quick tests that need to be filled out before the form can be submitted. So you can make sure your visitors are actually human beings. Now if we go over here to the confirmation tab, you can customize the message that is seen once the form is submitted. And the email message is the message that will be emailed to them if you so choose. So I'll just add a quick message for the page that says, Thanks for visiting my awesome website. If you don't wish to personalize this message, the default message will be seen once the form is submitted. So moving on, we'll go to the Notifications tab. Here you can choose to be notified whenever your form is filled out. And you can also choose which email you would like these notifications to be sent to. So as you can see right here, I have admin at website.com. And over here, you can select if you would actually like to be sent an email every time somebody fills out your form. So right now, I just have it on, no, please don't bother me. When you're satisfied with this, you can click on Done. So now quickly, I'll just show you how to choose if you would like to send confirmation emails or not. So we'll just go back to the Edit Web Form menu. And right here where it says Email, we can use this checkbox to select if we would like to send a confirmation to the email or not. This means that once the user adds their email and clicks Submit, they'll get an email back at their provided email with your personalized message you created earlier. So once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and press Done. So finally, you can change the entire look of your web form under the Change Style option. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And here in the panel box, I'll select Style. Here you can select different styling aspects of your online form, including colors, font size, and type, and Submit button options. So we can go to Customize this element only. And here you can see Font, Display Style, Radio Box Style, Submit Button Style, Background. And I'll just show you an example of changing my submit button. So I can change the width here. I'll change it to something like 60. 
and I can choose whether to align it on the left or right. I'll choose the left because it fits better. All right, that wraps this video up. I hope you found it super helpful. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.